Hello everybody, this video we take a look at a fishing VR game. Wait, before you say I don't like fishing game, please stay. And although I like fishing games, I really not into every one of them. They really need to be well made in order for me to really enjoy them. And this one is the one that I liked. Now the game is called Galactic Catch and uh, it was developed uh, by uh, the nine-time Emmy Award winning independence uh, animation studio, Baobab Studios. And this is the same developer who brought us uh, other VR experiences like Invasion, Asteroids, Jack, Crow the Legend, Bonfire, Baba Yaga, and Nemo. And yeah, also to my surprise, by the way, the game does take place in the Invasion world, Invasion universe. And in this game, you're going to take role of a robot and uh, you're going to have different missions. And of course, the goal is to try to uh, get different fish. Some of them are pretty rare to get. As of the time I'm making this video, I'm still on the hunt for a legendary fish. But uh, you're going to find that there are uh, lots of challenges of catching more than 60 unique uh, cosmic fish. And yeah, cosmic fish on alien planets. Yeah, this is kind of a sci-fi. This is not a realistic fishing game, but more like a sci-fi uh, type of game which of course make things just for me more exciting and interesting yeah let's take a look at some gameplay shall we The cool thing about this certain type of arcade game that's just not realistic, that it gives developers more freedom to just get crazy a bit and just, you know, twist things uh, out of the ordinary compared to a re realistic one. So when you fish, you're going to find, of course, different ones that are worth more than the others, depends on the weight, depends on the rarity, there are uncommon ones, the legendary ones, which are still trying to get, don't tell everybody. Uh, you're going to get resources as well, which you can use to craft uh, different items. And as you probably you're going to unlock new walls, you also have your uh, room which you can actually see the aquarium and put things into it. Uh, you can uh, unlock new baits and other type of, well, kind of power-ups that enhance different type of things. For example, when you fish, uh, you're going to get energy, which energy allows you to, once it's full, it's kind of like an ultimate ability, which once you activate it, you actually ignore all the uh, tension and you can just pull the fish uh, to some degree uh, close to you and then after it uh, expires, you need to continue and bring the fish towards your location. So you can see there's a place to unlock different baits, roads. Uh, this is the kind of, I know, the power ops uh, that you can add. You can just only use one of them. Uh, and yeah, and as you progress, you're going to unlock more. And it's up to you to decide which one to use when you are fishing. Because again, in order to uh, get specific fish, some of them are attracted to certain baits. You need to switch between them uh, to attract those that you want to catch and you're going to look different planets each planet different locations each one of different fish of course you can see it on the map uh, and uh, you can just go to certain location and fish in those locations there are also missions which you need to complete because they allow you to progress and unlock new places and other kind of stuff you can see also the resources required uh, to um, to craft and some of them of course are rarer than others so you need to capture rarer fish um, in order to get those resources. But that aside, at the end of the day, it will come down, for, at least for me, to how good the mini game of the fishing really is. So you can see the red and the blue there, you need to stay because this is the tension and if you uh, make the tension, you know, it's too tense, it's just gonna break and the fish is gonna get loose. And the arrow is going to show the direction we need to put. Sometimes you need to swish and flick. And again, all to make sure that the fish stays with you. And uh, there's also options if you time it right to get bonus energy point. Once you get enough energy, you can again use your this ultimate ability uh, that allows you to kind of ignore the tension. Just pulls the fish towards you to a certain point. And again, based on my experience, the, uh, the harder, you know, the rare fish, we're going to fight with you more. It's going to be more challenging. Timing is very important. You see, I got the er energy there. Uh, soon you're going to see that I actually unlock the energy and I can actually use it if I decide to. It's going to stay with you later on if you decide not to use it.
Well, to be honest, I was expecting like at least epic for this one. You can actually see the colors. Green again uh, is uncommon. Blue is common. Uh, epic is going to be uh, purple, and legendary is going to be orange. But good resources. Good resources. So usually I use the energy when I'm about to lose it or it's very, very tense, like here in this example. But you can see I can only get it to a certain point. Then when it finishes, I need to pull it towards me in a regular way. Another cool thing that once you change the bait, you can actually see which uh, fish actually attracted to it. So green, this means it's going to be much more attracted to it. Then yellow, then orange, and then red, which probably won't actually get close to it at all. So it depends on the bait that you're actually using. When you change it, you're going to see the fish. After you press the trigger, you're going to see the fish that are going to be attracted to that specific bait. At any point, by the way, you can open the screen, which allows you to also craft out games on the go. Uh, if you have enough resources or just look uh, at the different places, go to another plant or go to another place as you wish. So you can see that I'm just changing the bait. And uh, some of them by one of the one of the bait that goes on the water, you need to kind of, uh, you know, play with it a bit. So to attract the fish, it needs to be a moving one. Here you can see I'm just throwing it where the green are. So I'm more likely to capture a fish like that. You can actually see there's a... Uh, a color there, a circle that signifies when uh, a fish is actually inside the the radius. Uh, yellow, this means that uh, they're inside, and green, this means that the bait get attention, and the fish is actually trying to interact with it, or will interact with it, with it shortly. Now I know when things are, are well, are designed well, because when everything increasingly come together, blend together so well, this includes the music, the sound effects, the animation, uh, uh, the environment, the mechanics of the game, uh, all this little, again, animation, the physics, when everything just blends so well together and deliver uh, something that they don't see, things that don't match together well, here it just perfectly matched together, and this is why it delivers such a great gameplay experience. And the mini game is just super fun and addictive. And I did play quite a few fishing games that I like. For example, this is me playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, which is a more realistic one. So if you're looking for a realistic one, well, this game is not for you, but there are, are of course, out there, uh, which I really liked. Uh, I started actually enjoy fishing game when I play Animal Crossing New Horizons with the mini game fishing there. This is actually what made me search for more fishing game to play because I just enjoyed uh, doing it so much in that game. And this is uh, Bait VR, uh, a fishing game. But I have to tell you that uh, I actually preferred playing uh, this uh, sci-fi uh, game, uh, Galactic Catch, because I like things that are more casual, actually. And if I'm shooting for things that are more in-depth and more professional, and more realistic, of course, uh, this might not be a game for you, of course. But if you're searching for a casual, casual thing to enjoy kind of fishing, like if you enjoyed, for example, Animal Crossing New Horizons minigame, you're really gonna enjoy this. And you have this little encyclopedia uh, where you can see all the different uh, fish and where you can capture them. So you know uh, you know what type of uh, fish you're actually missing and search for them and hopefully to get and get all the collection. Like as I mentioned before, there's also aquariums you can create by adding fish into it. And you can add decorations which you unlock as well to create your own beautiful aquarium. And here you can see me adding uh, different fish. You can add several of them, by the way. Those you, of course, you have caught. You can add them here. Uh, and just, you can enter inside the aquarium, by the way, yourself. You can just teleport there if you like uh, and see them up close. And beautiful, beautiful animation. Looks really, really nice. Yeah, so to summarize, uh, again, the great thing working for this game is, again, the combination. First of all, the mini game itself, the fishing, is is amazing it's just so addictive and fun and challenging of course when you need to capture some rare fish it's going to challenge you you need to flick at the right time and decide when to use the energy at the right time to succeed uh, it has beautiful animation fantastic music sound effects everything blends very to, uh, very well together to deliver a really fun and addictive gameplay experience that you just don't want to stop you're going to continue more and more until you're going to unlock all the fish and all the different maps and again, it's also very accessible. Again, as I told you with the mechanics, so if you're looking something for your kids, this is a great game as well. Bottom line, get a game. It's absolutely fantastic. Enjoy a little more gameplay, and I see you very soon on the next review. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.